What's going on YouTube fam? Today I'm gonna give you guys a quick look at your prototype Jordan 1s. Uh, before I get into the review and go over the kicks, if you're new to my channel and it's your first time just kind of stumbling across one of my videos, welcome to the channel. Thanks for taking out some time just to drop by and check out one of my videos. But look, while you're here, do me a favor and go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me and click that notification bell. That way, whenever I upload new material, I post new content, you get a notification and you can head to the channel and you can check out the latest video that I uploaded for you guys. Uh, you can also follow me on Twitter and Instagram and I'm at I am TMCII. So if you're on social media, go ahead and give me a follow there. And uh, lastly, hit the thumbs up. It's really an indicator to me, guys. Let me know that you enjoy the content and it just motivates me to keep wanting to record these videos anytime I, I purchase a new pair of sneakers to share with you guys. So hit that thumbs up button for me if you enjoy the content and you like the videos. Okay, so now that the intro stuff is out of the way, we can dive right into these. Um, so there's no real hype really behind these. Seems like it and seems like whoever wanted a pair of these could pretty much get them for retail still even after uh you know after the release a lot of people aren't feeling these and i personally i was on the fence also i just gave it a shot on the sneakers app and i was able to to get them on sneakers um if i didn't strike you know if i didn't catch a, a w on sneakers i would have been okay passing on these also because um the whole theme behind this you have this these little like perforations right here for you to you know take some scissors and to cut these and make them into basically a low top so a couple things that i don't like about that once you cut it that's it they have to remain a low top uh the second thing is the laces are going to be extremely long and the extra set of laces and i'll show you guys the extra laces in a second that comes with um these they aren't short so if you cut the the top off you're gonna have all this extra lint on the laces which is crazy and there's no way to shorten the height of the tongue so you're gonna have long laces a high tongue and a low cut shoe and i think it's gonna it's, it just looks stupid to me um for the pads that i saw cut the idea and i i get it is it's a it's, it's a neat concept but to actually execute it and make it look decent i, I think they kind of dropped the ball on that you know you want us to cut it but you don't give us all the laces and you there's no way to kind of rip the tongue and make the tongue shorter so i don't know, i think they just kind of dropped the ball with that it's a good dope dope concept like i said for those who into doing customs and want to kind of experiment with the shoe and give it a different look but I, I i just don't see it being a good idea um for what they gave us you know you got to equip us with all the right tools to make this a, a successful uh release but I, I don't think we get that with this at all um <clears throat> So here you guys go, man. Let's go over the materials of the shoes. Seem like, you know, we get to it. It's hit and miss with Jordan brand. Um, and we got like a really stiff leather on here. It's it's really, really hard and plastic. Uh, so material wise, at least on the leather, it's not the best. It's, it's really, really cheap um, leather on here. Even on the side panel in here, it's, it's really hard and stiff on here. Um, you have like a decent grain of like a, a durabuck new buck on here you don't you don't really see stroke marks when i swipe my finger across it um so overall materials are, are decent on here and you got some leather up top and this isn't like the best grain of leather either it's kind of seem like they just went cheap all around <clears throat> the shoe to me uh you do have some hints of 3m on the shoe and i'll show you guys that in a second it's right here and around here um then you got this you know some more leather on the back and like i said it's just decent material that they used on the shoe not the best but it's kind of been like that lately with jordan brand and nike it's just kind of hit and miss with materials and and quality stuff that we do get uh so here you go man this is the um the outsole I'll show you guys the insoles really quick too um so you have like that blue with the orange on both insoles, I believe, yes. Um, see if I could get the production date on here for you guys. See if we'll see when these went into production. Uh, can't really capture it, but uh, look like that's May of 21 is when the end production date was. Um, so I think shoe-wise, that's pretty much it for the shoes. Let me show you guys the box. I'm gonna toss them on feet also, so you'll hang around to the end so y'all can see what these look like on feet. 
Uh, let me show you guys the box now. So these are the extra laces that I mentioned that they came with. So you got white, blue, and orange if you want to change the laces. And you do get a cool box. You know, kind of have that, um, you know, whole cut and customized design on a box. And it's not your typical black with the red writing like we usually get. So it's a neat box, you know, I guess for the concept. Here is your product code, your uh, color breakdown, retail uh, 170. <laughs> um, you got the orange Nike on the side and that tan color. Just basically the color of the shoes, but they made it uh, into the box. Nothing special. You do got like a, a darker khaki color tissue in the inside here instead of that white that we normally get. And it's just, just the shoe trees that was inside the shoe. And I took those out uh, for you guys. So that's pretty much it for the box. Uh, here are the kicks. Show you guys the kicks one more time before I take them off here. Uh, you guys leave a comment down at the bottom. Let me know what you think of these. Uh, if you copped them, you think a whole, about the whole concept, if they were dope, um, if you think they may be worth something some years down the line or whatever, leave me a comment. I usually reply back to you guys when you leave comments. Uh, if I don't reply back to like directly what you said to me, I'm going to hit the thumbs up button or the heart button next to your comment just to let you know that, hey, I, I saw that you took out time to leave me a comment. And uh, I usually acknowledge you guys' comments. So let's take them off here now. I'm going to toss them on feet and show you guys what they look like. Y'all stay tuned. All right, guys. Here's a quick on feet look at your prototype Jordan 1s. Just want to show you guys what they look like real quick on feet. So we'll dive right into sizing first. Uh, so for Jordan 1s to me, I have a medium to somewhat narrow foot and I like a snug, tight, exact feel on my kicks. Uh, I don't think my feet are going to do any more groin. So I usually like a real snug fit. And for me, I get that when I go down a half size in my 1s. If you like that same feel and don't want any kind of space or room in your shoe, I think you could go down a half size and you'll be A-OK. -okay. Um, if you don't like that fit and you want like a little room in your shoes, just go true to size and I think you'll be good to go when it comes to Jordan 1s. If you have wide feet and you like a snug and exact fit, go true to size and I think you'll be able to get that. But if you want some room and you have wide feet, I think you should go up a half size. And it's all really about preference and, you know, everybody's feet is different, but that's just kind of my recommendation based on how they fit on me. Uh, as far as comfort goes, the Jordan 1 is a technology from the 80s and the tech hasn't changed at all. So you won't get any up-to-date uh, technology, squish, bounce, cushioning or anything like that in these at all because, like I said, the technology is from like the 80s. Uh, they're not uncomfortable. You can still casually rock these all day long and not be in any pain. Uh, but just if you're looking for like that up-to-date tech, I just you won't get that in these. But here you go, man. I won't ramble too much longer. I just want to show you what they look like on feet. Uh, they came with different laces like I showed you guys, but I think the black kind of looks the best to me just because it kind of blends in with that tongue. And they already have kind of a lot going on already with these. I've seen some pictures with the orange laces and the blue laces. I think they, it all depends on what outfit you're wearing, but just to be like safe and just toss this on with anything, uh, I like the black the best. So I'm gonna end it here. As I mentioned earlier, if you're new, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you guys on the next video. See y'all later, guys. Thanks for watching. Peace.